Alright, time for the death egg zone. Ignore that. It's gonna be the whole time. I didn't realize. Silver Sonic here. You can get two hits on him. If you hit him high enough. Otherwise, you're gonna kill yourself to for the second hit. Roll into a ball. Get hits on him. For that one, or you can spin dash. He'll bounce on the second run. To be prepared for two more hits. And there, he's done. 24 seconds. Very easy. You know what you're doing. Now, this is gonna go slower than I'd ever want it to. So, the Egg Robo takes 12 hits. But the widescreen changes how you fight him. So, usually when he targets you and comes down, if you stand a little ahead of where he drops and spin dash, like charge up your spin dash, he leans forward enough to hit it. So you get an extra hit in. He doesn't do that anymore. He's like taller, so it doesn't work. Plus, you can't spin dash from here, jump and hit him, you'll just get yourself killed. So honestly, like everything about fighting him has slowed down tremendously in this version. And it kind of blew me away, they got so much right with this, and then they kind of blow it on the last boss. I don't get that. But, whatever. It's not like this was the greatest last boss anyway. Like, you can only fight it one way, pretty much. And he takes its time, and it takes more hits. If it had just been eight hits, it would have just been a better boss. That enough's fine when you can easily kill yourself on it. But instead, we're gonna have to sit here and go through it over and over and over these same patterns. I went the safe way because I don't feel like starting over again. You can tell on my score, this is like, I gamed out, game over. But I had like, one life left or something like that, it was not like I had much chance. Especially when I spin dashed from here to my death, when I fought him. Just to irritate him, and it just irritated me so much. Cause I tried it a couple times, thinking I got it wrong, just nope, it just doesn't work the same. The widescreen kinda screwed things up in that way. It's not the widescreen, they made him taller. That's the problem. They hadn't made him so tall. Or they made him lean down more. One or the other. So we have a very, a very long boss fight. Honestly, though, it's not that much of an attraction with all the other things this version does well. If this boss is worse, well, at least we got a good boss in a new level. His uh, claws don't even get as close to you. And we've completed the game. So let's watch our little cutscene here. With his tiny little picture in grayscale. I do like the ending song here. Falling from space. Presumably not burning up. All the birds fly behind us. Sonic 2. 
Now, hang around a bit because I have a little a little something extra after the credits here. I'll wait till we get there. Okay, so we're gonna get this little try again screen here with Eggman. It's gonna be showing off the emeralds that we don't get. So, at the end of this little video, I wanted to save at least something for my first playthrough. So, here it is. Me getting all the Chaos Emeralds in the Genesis version on Emerald Hill. Sped up to last the length of the song. Let's go! First level, easy peasy. Second level, not too much trouble either. Third one is pretty difficult, took a lot of practice. Really did, really made me start over with Sonic only and not tails. Fourth one's not too troublesome. Once you learn to jump back and forth, it's, you, got, you got pretty safe ring count. Here's the one I couldn't beat, of course, in this playthrough. A lot. Felt like it was a lot easier in the Genesis version. Not easy itself, but easier than what I was trying to be do. Our sixth one, I really don't remember much about this one. And the last one. This one's hard. And it's mostly because you have to pretty much get all the rings. So I was using pause generously so I could write down the pattern for the level. But hey. In the end, I got it. All that matters is actually getting it. Look, it's... There we go. Alright, guys. You have a good one.